All right, after much ado, I finally have a working prototype here of the micro power cube. And this one uh, uses the same frame that we saw earlier. So I uh, put the 1000 watt power supply in here. This is the uh, power cord adapter for it. Uh, we have the connections over here that go for AC. And then one uh, little issue is, as you can see right here, these are the posts coming out the back of the power supply. Now the manufacturer specification said this was uh, 10.9 inches long and uh, I, all I can assume is that he must be just talking about this case right here because the entire power stop supply is over 13 inches long. So uh, I have the output connections here going to the ESC controller. This is the controller for the little motor. And then we've got the motor right over here. I guess you can hardly see it. Um, it's packed in there pretty tight, but anyway, the motor drives this small pulley here, and the small pulley is, has 10 teeth on it, and this goes to a bigger pulley, and this one has 36 teeth. So this gives a uh, roughly a power um, transfer of 1.34 horsepower to the input shaft over here. This was expecting 5 horsepower, but this gear ratio will give us about the same torque as the 5 horsepower, but just at a slower speed. Um, so then this turns uh, the pump, which is inside the uh, reservoir here, and that pumps out hydraulic fluid here. And this goes through the supply uh, spigot right here, this, this one right here. And then uh, the return, after it goes out, it comes and returns into this one. And this goes through a small oil filter. And then on the back side, you can see then it returns back into the case. So there we have it. And this is the uh, micro power cube. Tell you what, let's uh, give it a dry run while we're here. I'll just go ahead and plug it in and we'll see what it does. Here's my handy dandy power strip. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hard to do this. Here we go. You can hear the power supply, it, it already spins up. I don't have a switch in there, it's just on automatically. Now I did put a, uh, this is a controller here that controls the uh, input to the ESC controller. It has to put out a certain pulse I have documented on the website. And so when we dial it up, we'll see the motor starts turning. So it goes up to full speed. And uh, there we have it. And this is our uh, micro power cube.